Hey gamers, I just finished seeing the new Sonic movie and I'm going to do a quick thoughts and review video about this movie. The first Sonic movie is my favorite video game movie adaptation, so I was very excited to see this one. This time I went to the cinema not only with my wife, by the way I love you honey, but also with the person that by far I most love in this planet, my son. And to be honest, I was a little scared, but he behaved very very well. The first part of this review is going to be without spoilers, and only the last part I'm going to spoil a little, but before that I'm going to do a spoiler alert for those that haven't seen the movie. The movie starts with Sonic doing the Batman work and watch the city at night to help the police catch some criminals. But believe me, he's no Batman. Like the first movie, he still is very irresponsible and immature. After this scene, we saw Sonic and Tom in the boat fishing and Tom tells Sonic that he's still very young and in another words, he tells him just like the good old Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. In the next scene, we saw Dr. Robotnik played again by Jim Carrey. And just like the first movie, he is outstanding. It is so, so good to see kids in a movie cinema, having fun watching Jim Carrey and getting to know one of the greatest comedians in the 90s. Which I think is also great to Jim to reach younger generations. Unfortunately, he have less screen time than in the previous movie, because the movie focused more in Sonic, Knuckles and Tails. And contrary to the first movie, where the movie focused very much the relation between Sonic and Tom, this time the movie focused more in the relation between Sonic and Tails. Some parts like the wedding scene, they were completely expendable and it looks like they were put in the movie to give the human's character more screen time. There also a part where Sonic and Tails enter a bar in Siberia that it was also not fun and dispensable. This movie is 20 minutes longer than the first one, but without these two scenes that are not relevant to the movie, I think the movie would have been shorter and better. Basically, almost all the scenes that Sonic tells and Knuckles are not on the screen are dispensable, unless they have Jim Carrey. The snowboard scene that we saw in the trailer is great and the fight between Sonic and Knuckles is good and the last boss fight is great. Overall, I think the movie is a little too long, but for the most part is very enjoyable and Tails and Knuckles are very welcome and a great addition for the movie franchise, just like there were in the games. So, my conclusion. Sonic 2, the movie, is a good movie to watch, both with friends or family, and although I prefer the first one, I still like this one very much. Ok, now, spoiler alert! In the last battle, Sonic Tails and Knuckles join force to fight a giant robot, very similar to the last boss in Sonic 2 in the Sega Genesis, and the fight and the special effects are both great. We can't tell if Dr. Robotnik died or not, but they probably do that because Jim Carrey announced that this could be his last movie, and they introduce and show Shadow opening his eyes, suggesting that there will be a third movie. So, what you all think about the movie? Please, let me know in the comments. As always, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs> oh great, the Winter Soldier.